1,400 feet long, 40 feet high, and 54 acres of breathtaking views. It's all ours to experience at Dell Gardens Waiting Forest. The nation's longest canopy walk debuted today, and thousands from around the state, the country, and even farther came to get a first look. We've got people here from Windsor, Ontario, and the very first people through the door were from Ohio. And um, so we're getting uh, other visitors to our community, plus the residents of uh, the Great Lakes Bay region, and um, just a place for them to enjoy and get outside and experience something new. The DeWitt family traveled about two and a half hours from Coldwater to be one of the first to check out the $20 million project that was more than four years in the making. It was really cool walking uh, up really high in the trees. I'm terrified of heights and I didn't mind any of it. For Mike Whiting and his family who grew up on the property, seeing their dream come alive was well worth the wait. This is really designed to be a family place and to see kids on the playground and they're just squealing with joy out there and to see their parents with them and their grandparents with them. Uh, it's just really a tremendous family place. That's why it was important for the Whiting family to keep the forest accessible and low cost. The Canopy Walk has one and a half miles of handicap and stroller accessible pathways and daily admission is $5 and under. A fan favorite of the Canopy Walk so far has been this rope jump right here. Kids are having a great time jumping up and down 40 feet in the air. Whiting says the Canopy Walk will try and stay open all year round despite Michigan's ferocious winters. After a great turnout on day one, Whiting already has big plans for next year. Uh, down the road, we're going to have programming here as well. This year, we're just making sure we get open and get construction done, and, and uh, but that programming will start next year. In Midland, Cody Kaczynski, WNEM TV5.